Today on Creative Living with Lynn Lilly, we're kicking off the show with happy news in the rosier side of life. Mandy from Sumptuous Living is teaching us about 2020 design trends. Dasher Creations is in the craft room getting us ready for St. Patrick's Day. We're making flour cookie pops with platinum cakes in the kitchen. Darina is teaching us how to make flower crowns in the craft room. I'm sharing an easy St. Patty's Day kids craft. And we're ending the show with a fun mom talk. Welcome to the show, guys. As you just heard, we have a really fun show planned for you. If you're new to the show, welcome. Every week is different, but filled with lots of fun, crafts, recipes, and of course, lots of laughs. And this week, I'm gonna give you a quick look back at what's going on in the life of Lynn Lily. Well, my sweet brother-in-law, as we call him, Uncle Zacky, as Lily calls him, was in town recently, and we had so much fun with him. He lives in Connecticut, so we only get to see him a few times a year, but we definitely cherish those times that he's here. All right, and a few announcements and updates. You guys know that I created a glue gun with Sherbonder, and if you haven't gotten the glue gun yet, you better hurry, because this bad boy is about to sell out. You can get it at Sherbonder.com slash Lynn Lilly. And if you haven't joined the Craft Squad yet, make sure you're following us at Craft Box Girls on social media. We've got lots of fun happening for you, and I love when you tag me in your projects so I can share them. Last but not least, make sure that you subscribe to our newsletter. You can do that at craftboxgirls.com. We're only sending out two newsletters a month, sometimes only one if I get busy. But it's a lot of fun. I give you some insight at what's going on here behind the scenes and announce some fun news. All right, without further ado, it is time to kick off the show with some good news. Let's head into the studio and meet Rosanna for the rosier side of life. Yay! <laughs> I surprised you there, huh? <laughs> All right, you guys know Rosanna, and this is our favorite way to start off the show is with happy news. Yay! Yay! The rosier <laughs> side of life. All right, what are we talking about today? So we're talking about a sweet boy. His name is uh, Del Dylan Nettles, sorry. Dylan Nettles. Dylan Nelt Nettles, and he is actually six years old. Okay. When he was a year old, um, he was actually Actually, he was born with a complex version of a congenital heart disease. Mm. So when he was one, he had his first heart surgery. Oh my gosh! And has been, imagine. you know, in and out of the hospital since then. Mm -hmm. So January of 2019, mm -hmm. he was actually admitted for heart failure. Oh. This poor. I mean, at, so he was five at the time. So he was admitted and had been in the hospital since you know, since then. Mm -hmm. For an entire year, he was waiting in the hospital for a heart transplant. Mm. This past January, January 2020, he finally got a heart oh. and had a successful heart surgery. Oh my gosh. And guess what? He's out of the hospital, enjoying his life. <gasps> He's out with his friends and his family, and just loving life. Oh, do we got some pictures? Yeah, yes. we do. Oh my gosh, look at how sweet he looks. And he's actually here in Atlanta. This is an Atlanta story? Yeah, oh, Atlanta. I love that it's even more. It's better that it's local. Yeah. Oh, what a sweet boy. I mean, his poor parents. I can't I even. Can't imagine. Yeah, I mean, that was just like running through my head of what would be even going on in my head if yeah. that was Lily. Oh, well, we are so happy for him yeah. and happy for his family. And how cute is he after a year getting to see all those fun things with his friends and his house? Seeing all his new toys, toys. that he hasn't been able to play with for, you That's know, so like a cute. year or so. Yeah. Oh, well, we are so happy that you are doing well. All right, that was a fun story. Yeah. I like that one. All right, guys, if you are just tuning in, make sure you tell us in the comments where you're watching from. And if you've got a good news story that you want us to cover, whether it's from your hometown or something you found online or something a friend's doing, make sure you send us a message or an email to info at craftboxgirls.com and let us know what that story is. Because yeah. I know Rosanna would probably want to talk about it. Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys, I'm headed to the living room. I'm going to meet Mandy from Sumptuous Living over there, and she's going to give me some interior design tips. Nice. All right, let's go. Mandy, Hi. I'm so excited you're back, and I'm excited because 
we're doing interior design today. I know. I Although know. I love your like, recipes and your cocktails. This is really what we do but all this day. This is the in heart day of, of your business. career yes. and your business. Yes. So is I'm, design. And like this is not a strength of mine. I can make furniture right. and create pieces. Really great. But like, yeah. how to bring it all together mm -hmm. is what I struggle with. And how to make your house look like that magazine that you've been dying over, yes. or that Pinterest picture, or yep. all those kinds of things. And I'm going to show you what the new 2020 design trends are. Okay. And this is perfect for us because right. we are about to talk about painting, wallpaper, right. redecorating our first floor of our house. Right. And just like our recipes, I want things to be easy and things that are going to be across the board amazing. Mm -hmm. I also don't do trendy stuff with our interior design. Okay. Clients. You know, clients, we want, if we're going to use a trend, we're going to make it timeless for a long time. Which is I really want that important design to last a decade. Because most people aren't decorating their house. We're not going to redo it every yeah. year. That's crazy. Just because yeah. the color of the year changes does not mean that you're right. going to redo your house. But speaking of the color of the year, so the color of the year this year is blue. It's blue. depending, and I was just telling Lynn blue. that no matter, depending on who, what paint company you're you're dealing with, they have all chosen their own. Which color I had no year. idea. I thought it was like Pantone chose and right. that. That was it. And Pantone chose navy blue. Okay. You know, but then there's there's um this brilliant other, like just regular rich blue, and then there is this green from Bear. So it's just like all these different colors. colors. Yeah. So basically blues and greens are pretty trendy right now. Okay. okay? And I love blues. Blue for some reason makes me feel right. relaxed. Well, and it's easy, it's restful, it's airy. It yeah. feel really, it can open up your space, all that kind of stuff. So, but also blues and greens kind of lend themselves to tropical vibes, they right? They do, which I love. Yeah. I go on tropical vacations to relax and I want to be relaxed Right, 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 right. <laughs> and so, and that is a major trend right now. And okay. we're seeing it in wallpapers and do not freak out that you're like, no, I don't want to put wallpaper up. I love wallpaper. I mean, it will make a room, make a house, make a statement. Everyone will be coveting your house in a heartbeat right. if you pick out some amazing I'm going to bring Mandy to my home to have this conversation I with I hope to God. That's so much fun. <laughs> You've met Brennan. Right. Yes. So yeah. you can kind of know how I to tackle him. I talk to him, <laughs> yeah. so I'm good. Okay, right. so we can easily put in colors, pops through this way with I that beautiful. And this, this does not have to be so an entire pretty. room. It could be the end of a hallway. It could be at the top could of the ceiling. Like accent, right? Yes, that kind of fun accent. accent. You could also put pops of color in your rug. So Ooh, as you can see, we've pulled in these blues this. and greens in there. You could just do a picture frame. You can do all kinds so of stuff. So you don't have to go permanent no. with those pops of color. You can do right. some of those accents. Yeah, but if you want to go a little softer, we have a softer array. Like this one here with the ginkgo is like obsessed. This, this is the, reminds love. me of a good dining room. Oh, yeah. Amazing. So there's different ways. But then also if you don't want to stick with the color of the year and maybe you want your house to be more timeless, traditional, maybe that's your vibe. Mm -hmm. Because that, quite frankly, is what a lot of our clients are doing right now. We right. are doing so many houses with timeless classics. So we have textured wallpapers, tone on tone. Ooh. Do you see how this is a little fuzzy velvety? I Can you guys see that? I mean, you can see kind of like the shimmer. Oh, look and at the, that yeah. one. So there's a little metallic you get in shimmer it. and the fuzz and the with fuzz. it. I like yes. that one. Yeah, so you could do all that. And then also bring in vintage touches. So with patinas in your greenery containers, mm -hmm. greenery will never die off. You should never. have greenery everywhere in your house because that brings life so and energy. Real. Both. Either both. way. Okay. I have both in my house. I have, you know, live ones that I empty my water bottle for my kids. At the, <laughs> That's nice. Of the lunchbox. That's how I keep them alive and all that kind of stuff. But these really great, beautiful metals. This and is mixed... very timeless. Yes. Yes. And exactly. I feel like this is also something like Brennan's like, our house is not going to be super feminine. When you do a house and you like do a room, it should like last that. 10, 15 years. We okay. have clients that the houses still look amazing. My, We're my just... very budget-friendly husband will like that it would last 10 to 15 yeah. years. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to spend money. I mean, it's, who has that kind of money? We all have college to pay for. Right. I yes. literally really have expensive. college to pay for yeah. right now. So, yeah, I get it. So, these are all Love fantastic it. design trends. You want to have timeless wallpaper, all this kind of good stuff. And get a good wallpaper hanger. Put it up. Yeah, they're gonna that's what you're it. saying. He will make it so that when you do need to change it, it'll come right down off of the walls and all that kind of stuff. Wallpaper so. hangers. Any tips when you're picking out wallpaper as far as, like, Quality? Do you go peel and stick? Do you go traditional? I do That's regular wallpaper, but what we do with clients is you go ahead and you go through the books and you flag every paper that you like. Okay. And then you take those books and you go through another round and, uh -huh. and unflag the ones the next round. Every time you go through the round after round after round, you will eliminate and pull back. There will be one left standing. And that will be the one. one. <laughs> no and it one. literally can take you like 10 minutes to go through and do uh -huh. that. But that's how we do with clients. We pull and flag the ones that we want them to consider. Go through, they, go through it. they either keep or, you know, if they're slightly interested, they keep it. And then they keep going through. Every time you go through the round, 
you've eliminated a book here and there and you're down to one paper. And that's the one that by the time they've seen that the sixth time going through, they're like, <gasps> It's like giving out your wedding dress. I have to have it. Yeah. Say yes to the wallpaper. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Easy peasy. Okay, Mandy, I love this. So tell our viewers, obviously, I know you travel because you're doing projects all over the Southeast. Yes. So if you are interested in talking to Mandy about designing your home or corporate space as well, right? Yeah, we do offices. We've got a few law clients and what have you. But in a lot of them, we've done their houses. We've done their Mm -hmm. offices, all that kind of stuff. So go to sumptuousliving.net. There's a contact form that you can Mm -hmm. reach out to us for design work. And give us a call. We'll go ahead and talk about projects if it's one room or if it's a whole house. If you want to gut something before you move in, all kinds of stuff. We've done every Love bit it. of it. Yeah. Awesome. And while you're over on sumptuousliving.net, you can also get a cocktail recipe, right? Yes. <laughs> so you can you have some to... drinks while yeah. you're looking at those proposals. <laughs> Sometimes that's what you need to in order to get your husband to say yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it, Mandy. You're amazing. All right. So I know you'll be back, right? Yes. And we're going to kind of keep switching it up between interior design. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of food. design and food and drinks. I love it. All the whole gambit. Awesome. You're amazing. Yay. Thanks, Mandy. All right, guys, you have design questions for Mandy. Post them in the comments. Yes. You're willing to answer them, right? I will totally give you my what, what, and I don't filter, so I'm going to okay, tell so you Okay, so ask her about colors, yeah. wallpaper, anything that you want. And then tell us, are you working on a design project? You're revamping something in your house. We want to know about it in the comments. Yes. And if you're just tuning in, remember to tell us where you're watching from. All right, I'm going to go get my craft on in the craft room. Let's yeah. go. Hey. I'm so happy to Girl, be here. Girl, I loved you. Our viewers loved you. Hey. You're amazing. Hey. I feel like, can hey. we start every segment <laughs> out dancing? Yeah. Okay. Um, so one, everything that's happening here is really cute, and I wish it was in my size. Yeah. Um, but what are we making today? So we're making this adorable St. Patrick's Day tutu. St. Patrick's so Day is cute. around the corner. Yep. And so why not have a cute little tutu for your little one? Um, my little one loves tutus. Or She's in like tutu. Yeah, or myself. We can make matching ones. <laughs> okay, so you've got a kind of a fun system which goes along with your business. Yes. Right? So how are we getting started with this? Okay, so my business is Dasher Creations, and I have a program in Dasher Creations called Calculate and Create. And so with that, what we do is we we integrate math with DIY projects. Love so this that. is one of my favorite projects to do at birthday parties um, and with little girl parties, any kind of little get together. I've done it for play dates as well. Um, we're literally doing math to create this tutu. That's such a great way to make learning fun, which I love. And it's so creative. Right. And this is called tutu math. This is the sheet. <laughs> <laughs> it's so literally cute. called tutu math. So basically what we're going to do to get started is we're going to measure our waist. Um, and so in this instance, measure Miss. Okay. Miss Thing. Miss Thing right here. Does she have a knee? We'll call her Sheila. Sheila. Okay. <laughs> so, so measure Sheila's, Sheila's waist. waist is about 26. Sheila is quite skinny. Yeah. <laughs> so Sheila's waist is 26 inches. Okay. okay. She's been working out because um, mine is not. <laughs> Me neither. Okay. And so since Sheila's waist is 26 inches, we're going to put that on our tutu mouth sheet. Okay. Okay. The tutu mouth sheet just asks you to measure. And then it says, my waist is, so we'll write 26 Okay, so you guys can inches. see that. Got it. And this is just blown up bigger. Um, the real sheet is on my website, okay. my Etsy shop. Yep. All right. And so you're going to multiply 26 times 4. Oh, girl. Okay. okay, 26 times 4. So let's do it the old-fashioned way. Okay. Put our 4 oh, there. Long, I haven't done long division Ooh. in so long. Again, I'm watching Hope behind the camera going, wait, I don't remember long division. Uh-oh. Or, long four, division. Three. Multiplication. Oh, okay, okay. So, I was not a math major. It's communication. So our total I can number talk, but I can't do math. for Sheila's tutu is 104. And what is 104? 104. 104 is how many of these strips you're going to need to cover her whole waist. Okay. And I'll show you once we get started how I came up with the multiplication of four. Okay? So we're just going to get started. Um, we're going to get our strips. I'm going to okay. lay them out. So I pre-cut the strips. This I have is just tool, right? Yes, this is tool. Strips of tool. You can get them from Hobby Lobby, Craft, Michaels. Um, and there are two different sizes. There's 25 inches. I mean, 10, 25 yards, and there's 100 yards. You also sell a kit to do this, right? I sure do. I have a kit, and so you can go on my Etsy shop and find a kit, and we'll talk about all that okay. later on. So get your tool. You got a measure and cut already. Measure and cut already. I have a shortcut to measure and cut on my Etsy shop when you buy the kit. <laughs> she does it all for you. <laughs> I do it all for you. Um, and then we're going to get started. So I already put 60 inches of ribbon here. Okay. That's basically her waist size. 
give or take another 40 inches. And the 40 inches is just to have something to tie with. Okay, got Go it. Go ahead and tie that around tie her that waist. Tie right around her waist? Yes. All right, Sheila, we're getting all personal here, Sheila. Yes. Close okay. and personal. And I love doing this with little girls. Um, I usually have them tie it on, since they don't necessarily have mannequins, you can either tie it on a paper towel holder. So at home you have a paper towel holder. Yep. Or you can tie it to a chair. I oh, tie one into a chair, one into the chair, and I just get going. So I'm going to show you how to do your first knot, and then we'll have you do one. Okay. All right. So what you're going to do is take your tool, no rhyme or reason to it, just yep. fold it in half, super simple, and you're going to create this loop with your fingers so you can get in the loop however you want. You're going to slide that loop underneath your ribbon waistband, mm -hmm. open it up so you can see, hey, <laughs> and then I call these the legs. So I'm going to put the legs inside the loop. So put the legs inside, inside the, the loop. loop. And I feel like that pull. could be a song. And pull. Put the legs inside, inside the, the loop. loop. Put the legs inside the loop. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to let you okay. do one. Okay? Cool. So again, you're going to fold it in half. Yep. Open it up. Get yourself a loop. Slide it underneath the ribbon. And, and then put, put your legs inside the, the loop. loop. Put, put your, your legs inside, inside the loop. loop. I feel like for your segments, cool. we're going to have soundtracks. <laughs> yes, we are. All right, so now it's your turn. Okay. I need two more, right. and then I'll show you why that magic okay. number is four. So I'm making my loop, right? Yes. Clearly, not as good as you. And this is okay. super, super simple. All right, and then I'm going to put my legs inside yep. my loop. There we go. And, and I'm going to pull it. Pull. And, and then, then slide it over. Perfect. Okay. And one then more. one more. Got yep. it. Okay. All right, so why is the magic number four? All right, the magic number is four. Because in order to make a beautiful, full, fluffy tutu like this, you're going to have four of these lined up. Uh-huh. And you're going to have them pushed together. Okay. You measure that. It should be one inch. Ah. So four of these creates one inch. And remember, we multiplied how many inches her waist was by four. four. So we'll know how many strips we need. And we don't pull out a whole bunch of strips yeah. for no reason. Because I, when I used to make tutus and didn't know what I was doing, I pulled so many strips. I had Ouch. so much extra tool. Yeah. It was a waste of material. Absolutely. Um, and so this is a great way to calculate, save money, and make sure that you um, have just what so you great. need. This is so great. And learn. I love it. Okay, so now we've got a full one, right, for the yeah. next step. Do you want me to take this off, Sheila's waist? Take her off. All right, Sheila, oh, she you're changing. Actually, she can stay on, but Sheila, you're changing. And we're just going to tie All right, I will on. tie for you while you get set up. All this right. Is so cute. So the next thing we're going to do is add these adorable little shamrocks. And the great thing about them, I'm going to start with a bigger one. The great thing about them is they don't have a specific place they go. Okay, I love the sticky back ones. Exactly. So then you can take them off. Mm -hmm. So you can do this one or two ways. You can just right there, stick it on and be done with it. Or you can hot glue it. The other way is to hot glue it. I mean, it. girl, I love a hot glue gun, clearly, because I made one. Right. But I do love reusing things. Yes. And I love that, like, you could pull this off and then this could be for Easter. Exactly. Or summer or ballet exactly. or whatever you it You can put be. little bunnies, little eggs, whatever you want to do. so cute. So if you decide to hot glue it, my suggestion only is to take it, stick it on, and then on this side, stick your hot glue, oh, sandwich and it. it. And that way, whenever she's bouncing around or flipping, flipping, either way you see the glitter. Okay. Take what? This is so cute. I love <laughs> it. Um, your crafts are amazing. And I love the fact that you're combining learning with creativity Absolutely. for kids. That's amazing. All right. Remind our viewers where they can follow you. So you can follow me at Dasha Creations on Instagram and Facebook. You can uh, follow my Etsy shop or find my Etsy shop at Dasher Creations, and my website is www.dashercreations.com, and you can find out about different craft classes, birthday parties, and all that fun jazz. All the time. I feel like we need, like, an exit song. Yay! Exit song! Exit song! All right, guys, comment. Tell us. If you like it, share it with a friend. If you're just tuning in, tell us where you're watching from. All right, I am going to the kitchen to make some cakes. All right, you got <laughs> Nivia, I'm so excited you're back. I always love when you're here. <laughs> I love being here. Um, you're one of my favorites. Thank you. Um, not only do you make beautiful creations, but they taste really good too. Yes, yeah, so good. All right, so we're getting ready for spring today, right? Yes, we're getting ready for spring. So I thought, what better than to make some cookie pop flowers? They so are so stinking cute. Those are adorable. Like, Thank you. So cute, I almost don't want to eat them. <laughs> All right, so what do we need to make these? Because they look fairly simple. Yes, so these are really simple to make. 
And uh, the first thing that you need is a good cookie recipe. So I use Patty Page's recipe, and I'll have that up on my blog. Okay. And you guys, but if you want, you could always get a cookie recipe or your favorite one, or you could just buy it out of the store. Yeah, like very me. Amazing. <laughs> I love homemade cookies, but a lot of times I don't have time. <laughs> right. It takes some time to do it. So what we want to do is normally we get the dough, you roll it out. I have my cookie cutter here. Okay. It looks kind of like a flower. I think it was a strawberry though, so we're just right Oh, there. wait, yeah. what? And there was a strawberry with a stem. But it totally like looks that. like a tulip. That's what I thought it was. I was like, this yeah. is Yeah. But you can really get any flour, right? Any flour. Any flour cookie want. cutter, okay? So I cut it out once I rolled out the dough, and then I didn't like the little stems on the end, so I cut those ones off, and then I attached oh, uh, another one on there. Okay, so, oh, I see it right there. Yes, and I, I cut this with the stick on it. So this is just a cookie. Um, they have like lollipop sticks and stuff okay. like that, so you could use that. So you push that in before you cook it. Yes. And then exactly. bake it. And then you obviously follow the instructions right. for baking. Okay, got it. So now we're ready to decorate them. They've been cool and all that good stuff. Okay. So we're going to take our fondant. Ooh, and this is all colored fondant, right? Yes. So did you yeah. dye this fondant? Yes, I colored it, but you could buy colored fondant if you want at the store. Okay, yeah, at craft Michael's, store, yes, yeah, anywhere. all those places. Okay, cool. All right, so what do we, we have to warm it so up, So we're going right? to warm it up. So we're going to knead it in our hands, and we're going to use a little bit of shortening in there. You can just... Okay, and so while we're doing this, remind yes. our viewers that may be new, or you know, if you've been watching, I haven't seen her in a couple episodes, remind them about Platinum Cake Designs and all the amazing, yummy things you do. All right, so Platinum Cake Designs, I'm the, I'm Chef Nevia. I'm the owner and cake artist of Platinum Cake Designs, and we make, we specialize in all sorts of sweet things, custom cakes, cookies, cake pops, and all those good things. Um, and it's all delicious. She did these amazing cake pops for a holiday party I had, and people can't stop talking about how good they were. <laughs> and they were so cute, too. I'm glad they enjoyed them. Okay, so I'm rolling it out. We're rolling it out, and we're doing it on our prepared board. It already has the confectionery sugar and cornstarch mix in there, okay. just so that it'll be easier for us to cut it out. Okay, mine And is, that's a good... Is that a good size? I was yeah, going to say, mine's smaller so. than yours. Oh, that's oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Okay, so cut Go this out. It, cut it out. Okay. All right. That's perfect. Okay, so that's what mine looks like. That looks great. All right, so we take the excess and just put that to the side. Yep, okay. All right, so now you'll see that in these ones here, mm -hmm. their cut is just that side there. Oh. I didn't use all this other stuff. So okay. what we're going to do is just cut this part out. So I'm going to take okay. my Okay, oh, well, wait, I want to watch you do it first. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to be the guinea pig. <laughs> I have a scribe tool, or you could use the exacto knife just for food. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut a little circle here. Kind just of like, like a that. half moon. Oh, boy. That was a nice cut you did there. Okay. And you don't have to be perfect with it either. I like we that. Because we can cover it up with the green, so that. it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. But that looks great. Okay. So, and then also you can save this, right? Yes. Just you put can it back in the it. bag. Right. Exactly. Put it back in something airtight so that way you can have it for later. Okay. So now what we're going to do is turn it on our back yeah. here. Yeah. And we're going to add a little bit of our edible glue on there on the okay, back. Okay, and what is edible glue? This right here is a mix. You can buy this in the store, uh -huh. but this is corn syrup and water, 50-50. Okay, so that's a lot less expensive, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this on. I'm put it on. Try to line it up there. Yep, and smooth that and with my smooth finger. Smooth it out. That's okay. perfect. How Great. cute is that so far? Okay, and uh, then next step? The next step is the green. So you can okay, go ahead and so get that take green some out green. Of Perfect. And we're going to roll this out too? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, and what is the point of roll, like kind of warming it up in your fingers? It makes it easier. Sometimes you'll have um, elephant skin, and so that'll mean it'll tear and stuff like elephant that. Elephant skin. Yes, <laughs> elephant skin. That's and like what I call my, my dry elbows. <laughs> So we're going to roll that out. Yep. I already have some that's done. Okay. You're going to use the cookie cutter again. Ah, perfect. There. Okay, so do that. Oh, and then am I going to cut my... Yes, exactly. All right, okay. So I'm going to do that. Da -da 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 -da. Look at me. I feel and like... And before you take that oh. off, we're going to do this one too. Oh, a leaf. A leaf. Oh, got it. Okay, cool. And then use my edible glue. Which side do I put on first? Should I put this one on first? Yes, that okay. would be great. Perfect. This, this is so go. easy and cute. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, so wait, then I put that on, right? That looks good. So what and we're going to do, I'm just going to clean this up. Oh, look at you. Da -da 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 -da. Oh wait, I need my leaf. One more. Okay, and just like that, we have the perfect, yes. cute flowers. Oh my gosh, 
I love this, and I kind of feel somewhat like a pro. Looking great. Ah, it's so cute, and I love how you displayed them here. And this, is this just a box that's wrapped? Yeah, it's a styrofoam box. I put some wrapping paper Super on it and cute. put a ball around it. All right, so remind our viewers where they can follow you, and especially if you're local in Atlanta, that you can book her for cakes, cupcakes, cookies, cake pops, all the things, right? Yeah, so you guys can find us at PlatinumCakeDesigns.com. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Pinterest. Gosh, I love it. Okay, guys, if you love this, please tell her in the comments. And if you're baking things for spring, we want to know what you're making. You're also here to answer questions. So if you've got some questions about decorating, baking, post those as well. Yes. Yes, please. And if you just tuned in, make sure you tell us where you're watching from. All right, I'm gonna go craft with some flowers now. I'm gonna take a bite of this as I'm walking over to the craft room to get crafty with Dorina. Bye. Dorina, I'm so hey, excited Liz. you're back. How Thank are you? you? I'm so good, how are you? Good, I know our viewers loved the arrangement you did last time. Thank you so much. So what are we doing today? So today we're um, designing this beautiful flower mm -hmm. crown. So cute. Thank you, and we're doing it out of faux flowers. Okay, so not real, so it'll last. So it'll last long, and it's so much easier to do them with these faux flowers. I love it. All right, so what are we doing to get started? So the, the materials we need to make the flower crown, so we, first we need this floral wire, okay. right? And so that's what we're gonna use to attach all of our flowers. Flowers. Got it. Okay, and so we want to get like the little stems that have them cut kind of short. Okay, so, so an assortment. Can, exactly, an okay. assortment of that. We have some ribbon, some flower tape, mm -hmm. and we have our scissors and wire cutters. Okay, okay. What's the first step? So the first step is what we're going to do is we're going to kind of curl the ends of our. Um, wire and usually what people do is they measure their oh, head. Oh girl, I usually am like right. trying to put the wire around my head or like chasing Lily around the house. Exactly. So what's cool about this is an adjustable crown. Oh, that's so amazing. So you can your head or Lily's, Lily's head. head. I love that. <laughs> right? So what I'm going to do is we're going to first start off by taking our stems. Okay. And with the stems we just take our sticky tape. Now this is actually flower tape. Right? Alright, so this is different than traditional it's tape. It's different from traditional tape and with this tape you kind of have to pull it to get and it turn to it stick. to get it to stick. The very first time really I used good. this I was like what's going on? Why is it not sticking? Like, why is it not <laughs> sticking, right? So you kind of pull, twist. So you kind of pull, twist and you use it the same way whether you're doing fresh or faux. Okay. And when you do it like that, it just sticks really, really nicely, right? Nice. All right, so while you're wrapping, yes. remind our viewers who maybe didn't see your first segment all about Darina Design Company. So Darina Design Company is a full service floral and event design company. Mm -hmm. um, we do events throughout the Atlanta area. We specialize in any type of social or lifestyle events. Okay. I love doing cute girl brunches. Ooh, and stuff like I that. love going to cute girl brunches. Yes. <laughs> So, um, started my business back in 2016. I've been going strong ever since. That's amazing. And her arrangements are beautiful. Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry, thank you so much. Okay, so as you're kind of doing that, you're pulling those excess pieces closer to the wire. Exactly. And you see how that's like nice tucked in there? Yep. And and once you add your blooms on there, like we have over here. All right, so you've got one oh that's gosh. somewhat done, right? Almost, Almost finished. So, so I like how you kind of cascaded it across. Exactly, exactly. So I can give it like a nice full look. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, kind of like a layered look too. So we're going to take this last little piece and just put it right in there like this. Love it. This is so easy. I would it's say you so could probably easy. do this in like 30 minutes, you can do right? It. Definitely you can do it in like 30 minutes. Uh, great for a photo shoot if you're doing like a mommy oh, and Oh, photo me, shoots are the best. Or a little girl, even wedding, bridal. Weddings are yeah. perfect. Weddings are perfect, especially for the little flower girl mm -hmm. or your so bridesmaids cute. and stuff like that. And so you just keep twisting that tape around just like that. So you get to the end, and now the end. I know you love teaching people, and you've got an ebook coming out, I have right? An ebook coming out. It's called "Gorgeous Blooms Made Easy." Okay. It's all about creating beautiful centerpieces for your parties and homes and things like that. And we're going to teach you how to do faux and fresh in that ebook. Oh, I love mm -hmm. it, faux and fresh. Now, when you were shopping for your faux flowers. Where do you typically go to so, find them? So I love to go to Michael's, Hobby Lobby. Okay. You can even find some nice blooms at Walmart. So, Or you can order online too. So there's so many different places you can go for your full flowers. And the key is like just picking out a nice variety of flowers. Nice variety. Yes. Okay, so yes. now that you've got it fully wrapped yes. around. So the very last step yep. you want to do is take your ribbon and okay. you put it through these loops we created. Yep. And that's what actually makes it ah, adjustable. Yes. I love that. And put it through those loops just and like And then that. you tie that based on how tight exactly. you want it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Do I get to try it on? Yes, you do. Okay, so while you're putting it on, remind our viewers 
where they can go to follow you on social, find out more. So you can find me on social at Darina on Instagram. And you can go to my website, bloomwithdarina.com. And that's where you can find everything about my ebook or if you need flowers for any of your fabulous parties. Oh my gosh, I love it, Drina. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, guys, tell us in the comments where would you wear a flower crown to? And if you've made one before and you want to share a picture of it, make sure you tag Craft Box Girls and tag Darina too. Yes. We'd love to see what you guys are doing. And if you're just tuning in, make sure you tell us where you're watching from. All right, I'm gonna go get my craft on in the living room and I'm gonna wear my flower crown. Thanks, Darina. You're, you're gonna be so back, welcome. right? Of course I will. Awesome. <laughs> All right, let's go. St. Patrick's Day is almost here, and I'm sure your kids are getting antsy to make something or celebrate or asking you a million times when St. Patrick's Day is going to be here. Well, this is a craft that they can pretty much almost do on their own, and maybe just a little help from you. Okay, so to get started, give them a bunch of different colors of paper. You can go with the rainbow, which I recommend because this is a rainbow craft. Um, so give them one of each color. Have them cut out strips. So the strips can be as thick or as thin as they want. I recommend about two inches wide. Now, if they wanna make more than one of these or wanna make it longer, have them cut out multiples. But we're gonna make a chain link for the rainbow. So I'm using hot glue just for TV sake, but obviously with the kiddos, um, have them use like Elmer's glue or a kid safe glue. So we make one circle and then we're gonna come with our orange and come in and we're going to make our next one. So I'm just putting one line of glue and interlocking them. So this I thought was super fun because we did a chain link mural which was more adult driven for Valentine's Day and everyone absolutely was over the moon with it. So I thought this was something fun on a smaller scale that the kiddos can do. I don't know about you, but this throws me back to my childhood. I used to make these all the time in elementary school. Okay, so you want to go ahead and do them all till you get all the way through to your purple, okay? And it looks like this. So you get a little rainbow chain. Okay, so next up, now you can double this if you want, totally up to you, so you can make it longer, but for time's sake, we're gonna go with this one and you can hang this on a doorknob, so that's why I made it wider. So <clears throat> next, you're gonna wanna cut out a pot of gold. So literally, I just sketched out a pot of gold your kids can draw whatever they want, but this is something to keep them busy. Have them draw it on a black piece of construction paper. And then at the craft store, they have these really lightweight plastic gold coins. Um, and it's like two bucks for a ton of them. You can get them at the dollar store too. So that's what I'm using for this. If you don't have them, that's okay. Um, you can just cut out yellow circles to mimic gold. So I'm putting a little bit of glue on the back here. And again, I'm using hot glue, um, but if the kids are doing it, and they are younger kids, give them like Elmer's glue to use. And I'm just gonna alternate doing these from behind to the front to make my pot of gold. And when I get done, it looks like that. How cute is that? Okay, so last step, um, I wanna cover my seam of my purple one. So I'm gonna glue my pot of gold right there over that seam. So I'm gonna pop some glue right here. And this could be something that the kids could do together, have a play date, something fun that everyone can make. And parents, this is like a leave it and go. So you gotta cook dinner, give your kids some Elmer's glue and some construction paper, and they can make, oh, let's get it up there. Oh, I know what you're gonna do. Hold on, one little quick hack for you. Put a little glue, if it's a little bit heavier, which that one is because we're using the plastic coins, just add some glue so that it sticks to the blue one. Ta-da! Your own rainbow pot of gold chain link. You guys like it? Isn't it cute? I don't know about you, but this is fun, right? Super fun to do with the kids. Now, it's time to wrap up the show with Mom Talk, but if you guys are making some crafts with your kids for St. Patrick's Day, tell me what they are in the comments. And if you love it, let us know. Give us a like or a thumbs up. And if you tuned in late and you haven't told me where you're watching from yet, tell me that in the comments. All right, I'm gonna head over and meet the moms for some good convo. All right, we are mom talking today with an awesome panel of moms. I'm so excited. Okay, ladies, please introduce yourself and then tell our viewers the ages of your kiddos. Okay, well, I'm Shaniqua Dasher with Dasher Creations, and I have a two-year-old little boy and a seven-year-old little girl. I am Darina with Darina Design Company, and I have a three-year-old going on four, and I have an 11-week-old boy. <laughs> They all have little children, I, I do not. <laughs> uh, I'm Mandy with Sumptuous Living, mm -hmm. and I have a college freshman, Drew, who is 18, a junior in high school, Gracie, who is 16, and then one in middle school, Grant, who's 12. 
All right, and you guys know I have Sweet Lily, who is two going on 13. <laughs> <laughs> we got some twos these days. All right, so we're going to talk about two things today. Let's talk about Sean Johnson. I loved her as a gymnast. Yeah. She's a new mom, <laughs> and she recently posted a video of her baby doing its first little flip on the beach and was like, yeah, she stuck her landing, yeah. like, super cute. It was very safe. But she's getting some crazy backlash for this. Like, people are losing their freaking minds. I didn't see any problems. Right? Yeah. I didn't either. I literally looked at it and said, what's the issue? Right. Like, <laughs> well, and they also felt the need to speak up about the fact that the baby now needed more clothes and socks on the beach. On the beach. That's what we in all Miami. Put all of our kids. Right. And I think in Miami it was like yeah. 80 degrees that week. Maybe yeah. a fur coat, too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This baby must be cold because apparently mean, from TV you can tell what it is. It is cold. cold. <laughs> I think the shamers were like losing their mind, but I love that she shut those people down. She shut oh, yeah. yeah. Girl was like, no, thank you. This is my child. Exactly. Like, I will yeah. parent as I need to. Yeah. And the baby just spent nine months floating around. Yeah. Flipping. Flipping. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I love like, that. it's, it's and she made a good true. point. She was saying, like, if you have something to say, just say it nicely. Like, right. all of us are learning, doing good, trying out right. different things. Yeah. So you don't have to be mean about it. Yeah. She yeah. literally was like, and like, help baby's neck while she was so doing it. It was the slowest. The because I was expecting, especially when you shared that with us, like it was going to be like whoosh. No, it, it, was was like, like, slow, it was like slow motion. Yeah, people right. are insane. People it's, don't have anything to talk about. Yeah, at all. Right. <laughs> people are just, like, hey, <laughs> you need a hobby, get a cat. Yeah, get one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Enough on that. Sorry, we don't need to hate on the haters. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yes, we do. <laughs> okay, that's why she's my friend. Um, all right, so next topic. I had never heard this term before, but there was an article on goodmorningamerica.com. Fubbing. Okay, had y'all heard that topic I'd before? I've never, never heard of it, okay, but I'm yeah. guilty. Okay, yeah, you. Girl, me too. So, apparently fubbing is basically when you are ignoring your kids with your cell phone. And they were saying that, like, usually people are saying it's the kids who are, like, tied into their devices, ignoring their parents, but it's really parents ignoring their kiddos because they're on their devices. I am guilty of yeah. this as well. For, is everyone guilty? Yeah. yeah guilty, guilty. <laughs> like, Lily now is like, let's go to the playroom. I'm like, mommy's answering working email. And she grabs my phone oh, out of my hand my and goes and sets it down on oh, the wow. fireplace oh. and says, leave. And comes and goes, come oh, on. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah, she is. And now that you say that, I think that's been done to me before. <laughs> <laughs> she's parenting you. She's parenting me. I told you she's two going on 13. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I experienced lady. Well, especially when you are in an industry that our work is so much tied to our phones. Yes. Social yeah, media. Right. Yep. Like, having to interact with people. I have clients that... I have to put a do not disturb on my phone because I have a client who's looking at chairs at 2 a.m. in the morning and she wants my input. She will text me <laughs> right. and like, or call. And I'm like, baby love, I'm sleeping now. Yeah. And so we have a we have to shut things down. But it's really hard. My husband tends to be on more like gaming stuff. He's not answering me. Yeah. That gets if it's work, I can get it. Right. But I have I need to be better. I, I just have I just better. have a long time Instagram addiction. Right. <laughs> Nothing productive. Sorry. I love that you're honest. Like, I'm not doing work. I'm just scrolling through Instagram. <laughs> and I, well, I just try to get my emails in whenever I can. And so usually that's the time when I'm singing right. with my daughter. And she's like, Mommy, let me show you this dance I can do. Right. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, looking, mommy, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm <laughs> looking. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so the article said, try one hour a week. One every day, right? Okay. To not touch your phone. Do you okay. think you can do it? Like while you're spending time with your kids, can you put that phone in your hand? I can do that. Yeah, I can do, do it. it. I can do that. All one right. hour a week or one hour a day? Sorry, one hour a day. Oh. Okay. <laughs> one hour a day for one dad. Yeah. She was like, "Well, wait a second. So one hour a day, every day of the week for one okay. week. Can you can do it. It's doable. Awesome. Be strategic doable. about it. All right, we're we're gonna check back with these ladies <laughs> and see through. if we followed through. <laughs> All right, ladies, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Yes, thank you. All right, guys, that's all we've got for our show today. Thank you so much for watching. We'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. And if you love the show, share it to your page, tag a friend. And remember, we'll be back next Tuesday at 1 p.m. with another great show. Bye, guys. Bye.